Alrighty then, a uh, few more uh, airman errors, uh, just kind of rapid fire style uh, that I want to deal with in this video. Uh, the uh, Gospel according to Matthew and then the Gospel according to Luke have the, the nativity uh, narratives um, of, of Jesus. Um, and there is a discrepancy, uh, says Airman, between um, uh, Bethlehem, Nazareth, and Egypt. Uh, so when we turn to the Gospel of Luke, we see that, uh, accor according to Luke, uh, Mary is in Nazareth. She comes to Bethlehem. There's a census, and Joseph and Mary go to, to their hometown. Uh, to register for that. And uh, in Bethlehem, Jesus is born. Uh, they go to the, uh, say, eight, eight days later, they go to the temple and circumcise Jesus and so on and so forth. Then they return to Nazareth. Well, in Matthew, what we find is that uh, the narrative picks up with Mary already in uh, Bethlehem. Jesus is born. Then, uh, apparently, about two years later, uh, they go to Egypt, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. And uh, then, eventually, they they do go back to, uh, uh, when Herod dies, they go back to Nazareth. So, the only really uh, possible contradiction here... Uh, like a full-blown contradiction would be uh, when they go from uh, Bethlehem to uh, Nazareth, because uh, according to Luke, they go to Egypt. Or, I'm sorry, according to Matthew, they go to Egypt first. Uh, but Luke, in verse uh, 29, I think that's chapter two. Let me check here. Uh, in Luke chapter two, verse 29, it says they go to the Temple, they see uh, Anna and uh, I forget the other guy's name, uh, prophets in the temple uh, that have been waiting for the Messiah, and they circumcise and, and they do the sacrifice of two turtle doves. And uh, yeah, yeah, let's see here. Verse 39, Luke chapter 2, verse 39, and when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own city, Nazareth. So it doesn't say in Luke that they went to Egypt first, uh, whereas in Matthew it does say that. Uh, so uh, the timing seems to be about two years after the birth, they go to Egypt and uh, then... Uh, I forget exactly when Herod was supposed to have died, but uh, after that, then they go to to Nazareth. So uh, th th that is certainly a discrepancy, as uh, it says when they had performed all these things in the temple. Uh, it seems like the implication is they're going immediately uh, to Nazareth. But I think that if we uh, don't uh, press the language here into being too precise, into being overly precise, uh, there wouldn't really be a, a problem. It doesn't explicitly deny uh, that they went to Egypt first, and it doesn't explicitly say that uh, there wasn't some intervening time. Uh, it, it does seem to imply that, but it doesn't explicitly say uh, there was absolutely zero seconds in between finishing up at the temple and and heading off for Nazareth. Uh, so I think uh, in the Gospels and the rest of the Bible, uh, we shouldn't really expect it to be as 100% precise and exact as a scientific uh, paper in a peer-reviewed journal. Um, it's a popular work. The Bible is not written in classical Greek, the New Testament. Uh, it's written in the common language, so uh, we don't expect it to be, it seems to me, 100% uh, exact in everything it says. It, it, 
it's it's accurate, but it's not uh, as precise as a scientific treatise. Um, then, um, oh my goodness, my science, sinuses are playing havoc with me today. Um, just as I was about to make a video. Uh, but before that, not so bad. The trial uh, before Pilate, Jesus is arrested, eventually crucified. In between, he is on trial before Pilate. Well, in one gospel, uh, Mark, we don't really have a lot. Uh, the, the account of the trial um, isn't very long. I, th I think it's only like two verses. And uh, Pilate says, uh, are you the, the the king of the Jews? And Jesus says, uh, th th uh, thou sayest, y you say so. And in John, uh, you know, he goes and talks to the crowd, and he comes back into the inside, talks to Jesus, and goes out to the crowd, talks to Jesus, and they have kind of a extended dialogue. Well, this, um, I, w I would say, is not really a contradiction. It's just that uh, Mark doesn't give as many details as John does. And indeed, we find uh, when we look at, when we compare Matthew, Mark, and Luke, uh, that Mark uh, does. Uh, uh, perhaps not universally, but there's a, there's a tendency of Mark to omit a lot of details. So uh, he's not saying these details that I'm not mentioning didn't happen. Uh, he's just not. Uh, it, it's a shorter book compared to Matthew Mark, and Luke and John as well. Uh, but John's not one of the synoptics. Uh, so we don't expect all the details in Mark that we find in the other Gospels. So that's not really a contradiction there. Uh, and then the final one I want to look at in this video is when Jairus' uh, when Jairus's daughter died uh, in Mark and Matthew. Uh, Ehrman says that uh, one of the Gospels it says that he is uh, Jairus or Jairus or his his representative says that the girl is about to die and the other gospel says uh, as Ehrman rightly notes uh, that she has died well I think uh, there really isn't a problem here because uh, in the account where he says that, that she's about to die and then somebody comes along and says she has died uh, so the just of, of what happened it seems to be that uh, he he initially said uh, Jairus or, or whoever was was uh, representing him to Jesus uh, said that uh, the girl's about to die, and then later on he or another representative said, "Okay, now she has finally died." Uh, so so the 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 gist is yes she they come to Jesus and say that this girl has died. Uh, whereas in the Gospel, uh, I think it was Mark, but it, it may be Matthew, uh, it, it it doesn't uh, it, it it doesn't break up the the uh, telling of Jesus in, into two parts. She's about to die. Oh, now I guess she really is dead. It just says she is dead. So it it's just not going into the the detail. Uh, of you know having the second person come in and, and update the the news, um, but the the gist of what's going on there is the same. Uh, so those three, uh, those are the last three, uh, with the exception of Judas. I want to talk a little bit about Judas, uh, and then go on to Paul. Uh, so so that concludes, with the exception of Judas, uh, the. Uh, discrepancies that Ehrman brings up that I wanted to address uh, from the Gospels, uh, various uh, events in the life of, of Christ. Thank you for watching and Shalom out.